Yasin Omar, the chairman Muyenga Abani Council, reveals that as a community, they were planning to ambush Speaker Olanya with an assignment of facilitating the splitting of Makindia Division into two divisions for improved service delivery. Makindi East to become a division and Makindi West also to remain a division. Because we are trying our best to meet him and lobby for that. Who's the right person? Okay, the ministers who are here can also try, but I doubt. But him was the right person. Hmm? We will really miss Olanya for that. Then, also to have more MPs, because Makindi East has 200,000 people. The quota now is 75,000 people per MP. Imagine now our MP that we have here. When will he have time to consult 200,000 people before discussing to parliament? That means he will take his views because you will not have time to consult us. But if we had the two MP, at least. So those are the things we will miss Olanya. To this end, there is no doubt that at the national level, Olanya was a patriotic leader and an advocate of rule of law. He has supported the Church of Uganda because we have the land which he was going to be taken. But he's the one of the, among the people who are, who are going to bring back our land. I'm a Protestant woman. But when I heard that he has stand in returning our land back, we Protestants, I was very proud of that man. Because he has been our leader, he has been our speaker for the country, it's so, so sad, which is not good to lose such a person. I know he has been hard working, however much I've never got time to talk to him, but I know he talks to some. Some got time, some other people got time to interact with him. For this, Naso Zijen, a fruit vendor, would love government to declare two public holidays for Ugandans to publicly view the fallen servant. Because all of us, we are not going to reach where he was, is going to be buried. So, we who are not going to bury Jacob Oranya, we beg for the holiday. Or while we go in the church and we pray for him to rest in peace. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.